Minus 100 percent. Minus 28. Okay, I'm just doing a cooking recording. Okay, that's good. 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 Okay, I've defrosted the mints. Oh, it's not fucking defrosted properly, is it? Oh, Jesus. No. God. It's not fucking defrosted properly. Fuck. Frosted the mince. I have prepared, I've beaten and mixed, I've beaten the egg and I've mixed some seasoning into it and I've prepared a smaller bowl of flour because I'm gonna have to start mixing you know um, the meatballs with the flour and coating them. Um, Yes, we have to. Well, I'll do that in a minute. I've first got to mix the eggs and the mince together. Then I've got to mix some onion and garlic with peas and corn that I've made up. And I can't be sure if I'm mixing all of that in or if I'm mixing some of that in. What I like about the Guide Dogs Queensland cooking lessons is that if you make too much of something, on purpose you don't know how much you think you're going to need okay you don't know how much you'll truly need until you actually use it so rather than making up just one cup of pre-mixed veggies or seasoning or whatever you make say two cups if you expect to use i don't know say half a cup or one cup of veggies with your food don't make half a cup of veggies because it won't be enough. You make up one or two cups. If there's too much, you put the rest in the fridge for the next day to make something else with it. And you just use it up the next day. You don't leave it in the fridge for two or three or four or five days. You literally make it up for the next day and you use it then. Or if it's the day after, it goes straight in the bin. It, you have to chuck it out. So that's what I'm doing now um, so the leftover onion and garlic is going into my fridge yeah that's good enough that's the leftover garlic and onion will be going into my fridge and uh, that's how I'll be dealing with that one um, so I put my meat into the large bowl and some of it's problem with defrosting stuff in the microwave is some of it cooks up some of it physically cooks up now I'm gonna pound it all together because you're gonna have a tiny bit of like frozen mince because it's not defrosted properly but that's better than nothing you gotta pound it all up until it's like really pounded up there's a tiny little bit of cooked mince in it, but you can rip that little bit of cooked mince apart, which is what you do anyway. I would highly recommend for you guys not to defrost mince in the microwave. I've only done that because I didn't have enough time to thaw it properly. I recommend that meat gets thawed properly before use. But obviously I'm in a bit of a hurry tonight to get it, you know, thawed out. Rather than defrost it, which is only going to partially cook the meat, you're supposed to use fully unfrozen or fully thawed ground beef or ground pork, ground chicken, you know, mince. That's what you're meant to do. But obviously, I didn't think I was in a hurry. 
but in any case you do the best you can with what you got um, I for one will next time be using thawed or completely unfrozen ground meat you know beef chicken pork turkey whatever anyway I'm doing the best with what I've got tonight that's all I can do for now I'm still going to make nice meatballs it's better to use thawed out totally thawed or totally unfrozen um, so if it's in the freezer thaw it out properly don't defrost it in the microwave only if you're in a hurry like I had to be in a hurry tonight and if it is not frozen yet just use it straight away that's the only thing I can recommend but otherwise the only difference is, is that this is partly cooked so by the time I make the meatballs maybe the mince will be more cooked than I would like it but at least they'll be nice um, in any case so you've basically got to pound it all up until it's like mush which takes a little while you've got to make it all mushy like like porridge or like a porridge consistency and it's hard to do especially when you defrost something in the microwave and it partly cooks so that the cooked bits you have to physically mince into tiny little smithereens in your fingers um, but anyway I've done the best I can I really have done the best I can now I'm going to mix the egg in with that and mix it all in I am just going to use my hands you're just using your hands and then you got to mix once you mix the egg into it you mix in a third of a cup of breadcrumbs you never forget the breadcrumbs ever you mix in one third of a cup of breadcrumbs gonna do that in a minute and with the egg in the mince you're going to continue to pound squeeze pound squeeze basically think of grabbing and squeezing something over and over again until it's like mush until it's all mixed together with your hands then you've got to wash your hands again and put some bread crumbs in you've got to use a third of a cup or is it sorry not the I don't know why I said third of a cup. A quarter of a cup of bread crumbs. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. Mix all that together. Okay, that's okay. So. I'm going to wash my fingers now. I'm going to use dead old soap. Just going to wash my hands really clean again. I'm going to use a quarter of a cup of breadcrumbs and if that doesn't work I'll use, I'll add in a little bit more so I'll just see how I go with that Crumbs. 
cup of them. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, I'm going to use my hands to mix all that in. If that is enough, then that's enough. If it's not, I'll have a little bit more added to it. But, I want to add just enough breadcrumbs to make the consistency of... Um, bloody um, um trying to think of what the consistency feels like now um almost like a sponge but not quite spongy yet um you don't want them to fall apart when they're rolled and cooked um you don't want too many breadcrumbs you want just enough just to say yes they're gonna sit together um you want a little bit more breadcrumbs, just a little bit more. Like not too much, but obviously just enough. Just to say, hey, I've done it. Oh, I've done it. A quarter of a cup of breadcrumbs, maybe a little bit more. Not that much, just a little. Just like a little bit. Just enough to make it nice and consistent. Nice and consistent. Oh, that's perfect. That's good. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, and then you've got to mix veggies into these, so yeah, I want to make sure that it's all mixed together. Okay, there we go. Getting there. How much onion are we going to mix with these meat balls? We'll find out in a minute. going to throw in a handful of stuff, a couple of handfuls, the rest of it's probably going to go into a container, I think. Yeah, I think it's going to go into a container. Mix it all in, mix it all together. Yeah, I think the rest is going to go into a container. Because, obviously, you can't do too, like, if you do far too many vegetables in the meatballs, they're all going to be like falling apart and that. Which you have to be careful of. All be coming apart and you don't want any of that. So. for the next day I think. Have to buy some more mince and make some more meatballs. Mmm. Yum. Yum. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mmm. Yummy. Gee, I, 
I know how to make good meatballs. I don't need to buy them from the shopping centre. I can make them really good all on my bloody own. I don't need the shops to help me bloody make them at all. There is no assistance with any of this shit. No. my own dinner. Mmm. I'm going to get a container. A container. If I knew where they were. And put the onion and stuff in there. For the next. I wonder what I'll be doing with that tomorrow. I'll probably do something with it. Which is good news for me because I wanted to do something with it anyway. I might do um oh yeah that's a tomato and the sauce to go with the meat well that's fine um yeah um, use this tomorrow I think to do something with it something out here. Bread crumbs are going back in the fridge until the next day. Don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'll do something. Don't know what I'm going to do with them. I wish I bloody knew too. Bloody wish I knew what was going to happen. Oh no. It's, oh look, the um, fucking um, stuff is going to come everywhere. Don't come down the fridge. Don't do that. Okay. Um, I'm going to get um to then do the meatballs in flour. Okay. So I'm going to make little meatballs, like little ones. Little meatballs, like that size, like little bite sized bits. Okay. Little bite sized pieces, like that. Little bite sized bits. hard to make but I don't really try to do one hope I do the right thing. Oops, hang on. It's going to take me a while to do them. Oh my god. Yep, it's going 
protect me a little while to know. Fuck. Damn it. I don't know whose idea this was to make meatballs, but I certainly didn't think of it. It just sort of came to mind, and now I'm like, oh, really? I have to do this? Things. It's a tedious job. It's like making knocky but you make meatballs. Oh god, do I have to do it? Oh. And here I am making them from scratch using a jar of spaghetti sauce to help me with the least with the meat sauce. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. I'm serious. Oh fuck. Got all the flour. Obviously, you don't want them to be too big, but they to be a little lighter. Oh, I'm going to um, I mean, they've got to be small enough to be bite sized pieces. They're so fucking gentle as well, like they're so friggin' fucking. You can't just. Oh god. things and they're very delicate to make and all this other stupid shit that you've got to really think about when you're making them. Oh. And they have to be fucking bite size and all this other stupid shit that you need to think about. God. Sometimes they can fall apart too. Oh. Yes, this is how you make meatballs the Italian way, and it is difficult. Oh my god. Italian food is fucking definitely, definitely gentle to make. And it's guesswork. Some of them are going to be bigger than others. Like, can't help it. It's just how they are. Apart. Oh, don't do that. Do not fall apart like that. Bloody thing. Italian food is absolutely horrendous to make. You can't just hurry up and do it. You have to be really patient and very gentle to make them.
this is how I make fucking meatballs and yeah oh my god it's fucking difficult mm. so hard You have to carefully take the excess stuff off. You can't do anything too much with them because you can break them and all this shit. I should have thought about this before making them. God. Anyway, they're nearly done. It only takes you long enough to make them. You have to make them fucking bite sized and all this stuff too. I didn't think they'd be so messy to make either, but they fucking are. They're a real mess to make. Oh my god. What a bloody mess to make. Now, oh, dropped thing in the yum. Shit. Okay, fix that up. The other problem I have with making meatballs is you've got to make sure you make them before they get dry up, before they really dry up. And if you don't, they can fuck up more. They can bugger up a lot more and uh, yeah, you have to be careful with that. You have to be very careful with that. Oh, and you have to stop them coming apart in that too. Oh, hang on. can come apart. Can. Oh shit, hang on, it's coming apart again. Jesus. They do literally come apart. And that will have to go in the bin because that's. Italian meatballs as you have to chuck stuff into the rubbish bin.
phone is actually still working. Flour and shit all over the place here. Yeah. I think you're making these two eggs and I'm going to use one right here. I really need one egg, but it's still come apart. Okay. Now I'm going to set up the fucking frying pan. So I'll do that now. Set it up. Oh, yep. Down there. Go on. Ah. Do as you're told. Soy sauce, oh my god, what the fuck is the olive oil? And there it is, okay. grams of pasta do I want with that? I will have my scales and measure it, then I'll know. Um, if it wasn't for me, somebody I know would be moving stuff around. I do too, but I don't really want a oh shit. Okay, there's that. too much with these meatballs yet because they're still can't let them fall apart. Okay, now how many grams of pasta are we going to use? Power on. How's this phone going? Okay. Okay. Tm. Milliliter. It is seventy-five milliliters. It is seventy-five milliliters. Ounce. Gram. Zero. Okay. Zero. Last time. 
could have gone near where it was. Now I want how many rain will pass from my head. They may come apart a little but not with severe intensity. They can't be thrown around and just fall apart. They have to be gently seared and dried until they're cooked in that. Which takes a while takes a little while to do it and then in the meantime I can set up my pasta and have it ready and cooking ready to go so I'm going to get the saucepan boiling my phone there. Oh no. Oh. Don't know where my other is. setting that up I have to gently very gently sear these meatballs until they are very cooked and like all Italian food they are very gentle foods you have to be really patient with them you can't just um, do everything in a real hurry and expect them to just work can't just do everything in a great hurry and go, why is my food not working out? You just can't do that. So I'm going to fill this saucepan up with water. Boil. So you'll put that there and then 
turn. Uh, I think that's left one. Left. I think that's the right one, isn't it? I'm falling down. Oops, ouch. That's all right. Now I'm expecting that the meatballs are going to fall apart a little bit during the cooking process because that's just what they do, they come apart. That's just how they work. Can't totally stop meatballs from falling apart, it's just not going to work. You just got to do something to make them cook easier. take a while to finish cooking the meatballs. Now I don't know with meatballs, I don't know if people cook a lot of meatballs at the same time in the fry pan or if they just cook a few at a time. I'm cooking a lot of them at a time because I want to get them done. I just want to get them cooked and I want to mix the tomatoes in and the um, spaghetti sauce when they're more cooked.
get in it for the tape. Yeah. The difference between me doing normal mints like just spaghetti and actually doing meatballs is that once you make the meatballs you can't, you know, you can't crush those meatballs into little tiny bits like you would with normal mints. You can't do that. You have to try and cook them separately, which really sucks like, oh. Bloody sucks.
I reckon the next time I do these meatballs, I've never tried this before, the next time I do them, Goals. I'm going to try cooking a few of them, then another few of them, then another few of them. And then you just, um, you set them aside, then you put them back in the fry pan, separate like that, and you simmer them in sauce. I'm wondering how that will work. I reckon next time we're going to try cooking meatballs separately. Then when they are actually cooked, then I'll introduce them back in the pan. I want to see what difference that makes at all.
I need to turn that down. I need to let it go. It's just going to um, go match me up for about 30 meatballs. Um, it's going to be like stew rather than cooked. I don't know if I'm going to like this. don't think so. don't reckon I'm going to like it. about now is 
just getting that passed through to the colander and letting it sit while I wait for that thing to cook. Then transfer all of that to the saucepan because that way I can mix it all around and, and uh, go where it's supposed to be going. As long as it's cooked, I don't give a shit. Now, I'm going to move all that into the saucepan in a minute. In a minute, it's going into the saucepan. You just let it simmer and simmer and simmer and simmer. And then you stir that a bit. Just leave it simmer. Okay. 
side. Um, I think I might need to put that there for now. Move that around. Mix it around. Oh shit, no, that's too thick. It's too long. Um, it's burning. Yuck. You don't want that. You don't want that to burn everywhere. You know, let that sit for a sec. I think next time I'm going to do the meatballs separately. I nearly had it right, almost. Almost had it, almost had it right. Just about, I just missed a couple of things. Shit, hang on. I just missed a couple of things. Nearly got it. I've got to do it again, but I just about got it right. Almost got it fine. I've just got to do something. I've missed a step, I believe. And next time, I believe it is, cook some meatballs, put them aside, cook some more meatballs, put them aside, then cook the pasta and put that aside, then put the meatballs into the saucepan and simmer, and then, um, so you've got to fry the meatballs, which you know, fry them separately, then put them back in with a tin of tomatoes and tin of sauce and simmer them. Do the pasta and set it aside. Then, um, once you finish simmering the meatballs, then you mix it in and you eat it. Yeah. So I've missed like one step there, but at least I'm doing it. At least I'm cooking it. At least it's going to be okay. So I'm going to stop this recording now and next time I'm going to show you me making meatballs from the very start. Um, and I'm going to do it a bit differently where I make a little portion, cook them up for like 15 minutes, make another portion, cook them up for 15 minutes, blah, 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 <coughs> till they're all done. Then put them back in the fry pan... Um, and then simmer them and in the end finish them up in the saucepan. That's what I'm going to do. Anyway, I'm doing that next time and for now, um, I hope everyone has a good night or day wherever you are. When I come back later, I'm going to let you know how they are, good or bad. <laughs>